Today, we're taking a look at the M110 in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. The M110 has been in pretty much every Ghost Recon game up until this point, and now it's finally here in Breakpoint. Or should I say this weapon loadout video is now finally here because I've been taking my sweet ass time putting this one together. This thing is one of the best DMRs in the game now, and it really truly is a fan favorite rifle. So first off, we will test this thing against Sentinel, Wolf, and Bodark targets to see how well this thing hits, and then I will talk about the rifle a little bit and give you guys my thoughts on the gun. But before we do that, let's set this thing up. We're gonna go with the short barrel, the DMR standard magazine, the DMR suppressor, the Maldier, the dual range sight, the KAC SASS stock, and lastly, the bipod foregrip combo for the underbarrel. Now that we have this thing all set up, I'm gonna discuss why I chose those parts that I did, but before we do that, Let's test this thing out against Sentinel, Wolf, and Bodark targets now too. Single shot, center mass, and we're gonna see how well this thing takes them down. We're gonna start off with Sentinel using a suppressor. One shot, without a suppressor now. One shot confirmed. Let's do Wolves with a suppressor. Three shots, without a suppressor now. Three shots confirmed. Let's do standard boat arc enemies, which includes seekers, troopers, and tacticians, starting with a suppressor. One shot, without a suppressor now. One shot confirmed. All right, so now that we have that thing all set up and we went through those power tests, I am going to discuss why I chose those parts that I did in my setup and share my thoughts on the gun. All right, so I went with that Moldier because it has the best visibility of all the lasers in the game. Again, I'm gonna sound like a broken record when I speak on the Moldier because generally speaking, I use it for every gun that allows for it. You know the drill, guys. It gives you an increase to range, which is a must have on DMRs because these things generally are used to hit targets at medium to long range distances. And of course, it gives us a 10% decrease to sway and a beefy 20% decrease to the shot spread, which will really help in tightening up this rifle single shot firing mode. Also, just to tack on to that 10% range boost that the Mall DA gives you, you should also consider slapping on that Ballistic Advantage perk anytime you use a Sniper or a DMR such as this because it gives you a plus 60 range boost and a plus 30 to handling. And with the new Weapon Mastery upgrades, if you max out your DMR's handling bars, then you will see increases of up to 140 in the time to aim and the recoil management. So you will be quick on the draw with your M110 and super mobile if you do max out that mobility too. You can speed walk and fire like a madman, chopping down all the targets that get between you and your objective. This thing is a beast. Now, I went with that KAC SASS stock because it just fits this gun so beautifully. The rifle has a very clean look with that staple stock on it. And I know a lot of the time stocks don't always give increases in this game, but in this case it does. It comes with a 7% decrease to horizontal recoil, and when that's paired with the bipod foregrip combo, you get an additional 10% reduction in the horizontal recoil. The bipod foregrip combo also gives you a 15% decrease to sway, which paired with that Moldia gives you a total of 25% overall reduction in sway. Now it does not stop there. If you max out your DMR's accuracy bars, then you will also see an increase of up to 140 in shot stability and sway. And that means that this M110 build is sturdy as all hell, and it will ensure you have the precision you need to hit targets downrange, but also affords you that flexibility ability on the fly to draw in a little tighter if you need to without feeling like you are weighted down with that beefy rifle because we also slapped on that short barrel which does really make this rifle look proper. All right, so this gun comes fixed with two firing modes. We got a single shot and a burst fire option. The single shot is probably what you will be leaning on 90% of the time, but for those of you that do want that added option for hitting targets with those burst pulls, then this gun won't disappoint you because with this build and those maxed out settings, this tri-burst comes in clutch on helmeted enemies like heavies and oppressors. 
The M110 is just a great tool for most operations that you set yourself up on. It does one-shot takedowns on most enemies, so you can always rely on that to quickly drop multiple troops at once if you catch yourself in a pinch situation where you have multiple targets to deal with. You can definitely rely on this rifle to get that job done. It's really hard to find things I dislike with this DMR. It really does hit hard and stay sturdy when you need it to. It also is one of the best looking guns in the game, so it's sure to match up nicely with most, if not all, of your character builds. So guys, that's the M110. Again, a great overall setup that you will definitely want to try. You will not be disappointed with this build. It's such a versatile rifle that really does give you the upper edge on your enemy. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you did enjoy this video. And as always, thanks for watching and take it easy.